hey techies out there i'm arav and you're watching atria creators in this video we are just doing a pixel plus ui 4.6 review and it will be a best rom for the redmi note 10 if you see the benchmarks the performance you will fascinated with this as if you can see this and you will definitely see that android version it is 12 and it is clearly mentioned that it is 4.6 and the maintainer is ra1230 and if we click on the Android version logo, we get a Easter egg of Android 12. We have seen many Easter eggs in the past Android versions, but it's a new Easter egg. And the kernel version is Legion, and just 2 is used. Legion X kernel is very best for the performance. Still in X status in enforcing, so your security is enforced by yourself. Look at this. After we clearing to that, here it comes to the pixelizer. And if you go uh, click on the themes, you get the font styles. You can select the which type of font you want. I just selected Nokia Pure. You can also click on Evolve Sans, and you can see that it changes. If you want to use custom colors in your notification panel or everything you on your theming, you can just click here, and you can just select like if you want this. And whether I upload, it takes few seconds, and it gets changed. If you can see this. And you can increase the white luminance. How much white do you want? Like you can see, if you apply any wallpaper, sorry, wallpaper not any of the color, and if you want that it is in faded, then you can increase it. Or if you want in the pure color, you can decrease, and you can see the changes in the color. After all that, we can see the chroma factor. You can use chroma factor, but I don't think you should have to use. Quick settings. You can get show keywords for footer, customize footer text. You can. Easily customize it like here it is written, written pixel plus UI. You can change it according to you. Clear notification button is there. You can use it whenever you got a notification. And the button setting you can the system navigation option gestures. From here you get customizations like edge long action. Like you can use these type of options. Like if I press is larger, it gets split the uh, screen. But because it is in settings option, that's why it is not splitting. But in any app, it gets splitted. No issues with that. And sorry for the and sorry for the background noise. And guys, if you are enjoying my videos, please like, subscribe to our channel. And if you have any of the issues, without a, without a further ado, you can comment in my Telegram group or the comment section right down below. I will always open the group section and the comment section right down now. And you can increase the pill length. Like I customize the pill line length according to me. And edge touch area you can in go after that you get the end call option, but I think you don't have to use this. This is having such an issue that no one wants to face this. Click to partial screenshot doesn't work. It is a bug. Like if I just click this and try to take screenshot, it doesn't take screenshot. So it is not working. It is a kind of bug. Gestures, same option, quick tap option, like double tap to background, and you can select these types of option. And quick open camera. These are the normal settings. What kind? I tell you about it makes our time wasting. And miscellaneous. Here's the game space. There is much much more thing about the game space you don't know. Here you can add the games. I've just add these applications. DRM info, Geekbench. Sorry, DRM info. I don't have to add this. And two. And if you can see this, here is the settings option. You have to just click here, and you can set the performance mode. If you click on standard mode, it uses like a normal. If you can um, tap on performance mode, you get the best performance of the kernel. And I will also share the screenshots in the later part of the video. Be between the video, you can see the all the type of benchmark performance. And after all the do, let me go to the Geekbench about the here history. You can see this. This is the score that I got without a game mode. Sorry, with the game mode, but not performance mode enabled. 432, you can see that it is the single core score and multi core is 1, 3 to 6. But if you can see this, here is the score when I enabled the performance mode. It is 535 and 1458. Yeah, it increases the performance, but slightly, not much more than that. And if you ask me for the DRM info, you do get an L1 certification. There is no issues with the L1 certification. And guys, if you are watching my videos, please like, subscribe because I am hopeless if you don't support us. And the camera to API support, it does support camera to API. This is no issues with that also. After all the that, I will also want to see you that root status. It is not pre-rooted ROM, so there is no issues with the ROM. 
and the you, if you can want to see this safety net test i've also run the safety net test you can easily run your banking app without any further ado you can easily use it takes some time but you can see it is a fast there is no issues with that or uh, if you want to do a play store certification i just click here and let me go back settings and device is certified and if you are uh, want much more knowledge about the roms you can do join my telegram group and official chat you can see device is certified and here is all the things and for the rom it is best and perfect rom you can use it for as a daily driver if you want to see the antitu benchmark i will also share to you this it is 27792 bit performance mode enabled and here is the 2.6 degree celsius yes in up and temperature and 3% battery drop so yeah there is a little bit battery drop and this is the storage test if you can see this 21442 so nothing good nothing bad but yeah you can use this rom with in gaming there is no issues with that and thanks for watching my videos if you like sub like our videos please like the video and if you found our content helpful then please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever i upload a video so okay.